Hi guys, welcome to the Crooked Product House. Today I want to talk about something very important that some of my viewers that have the Eden Reach Mini, maybe they don't know about this. I found this out a couple of months ago and I was a little bit concerned because the Eden Reach Mini, you can get a splash of water and if you fall in the water, you can get out of the water quick, nothing will happen to it. But I called Garmin and they told me this item here is not waterproof. It's water resistant. So if you or I fall in the water, the boat sinks, fighting a big fish, and the fish pulls you into the water, which at that point you should let go of the rod. So I called Garmin and they informed me, and also I wanna share with you what they told me, is that if you fall in the ocean with this, you should come out of the water quick because this would not survive too long in the water. And especially if you do submerge under, this is not gonna survive. So I did a little research and I found this cover for the Enrich Mini, let me show you. See, this is the case. It has two seals. You can press the SOS, call for help, and then close it back on and clip it. So that way your Enrich Mini is not submerged in the water. When your boat has sunk, you fell in the water, something happened in an emergency. So that will be a problem, the Enrich getting the ocean splash on it over and over is not going to survive so i want to pass this on to you because a lot of jet skiers have this and if they fall in the water this is a very expensive equipment this is about 370 dollars almost 400 dollars very expensive this little case is a little expensive but it can protect this and your life at sea so i'm always looking for ways to improve my safety and i really wanted to share with you guys because a lot of my viewers have been getting this little piece of device for safety but it does not help you if it gets wet for too long and of course when we're going to use this most of the time we're going to be in the water we have submerged the jet ski the boat fell off the boat something happened and let me show you how this is going to look it's a little big I really don't like more equipment on my vest, but this is a must to stay safe out there. And by the way, this is a dive case. You can go diving with the Enrich Mini. When you come up out of the water, the boat that you were diving with left you because they forgot about you. They were hungry. They said, you know what, let's go eat something. And they'll leave one person behind. It has happened. They leave a diver behind with this. Once the diver comes up, he sees there's no boat. The boat is gone don't know what happened well now they can press SOS and they can be located so now divers have this little case that is awesome for their safety all right I got mine with velcro here very strong velcro Let's open this up and I will put my Enrich Mini in here and it comes with this little lanyard that you can put on the Enrich Mini so it doesn't fall off the case right but i found this is very dangerous and it comes from garmin right this little lanyard goes back here inside the case and what happens is if you're in the distress and you're trying to put this thing back on this little lanyard will get cut right here in the seal and you won't be able to close it so by testing this i found out this little lanyard this is dangerous uh from garmin because it will get caught in the seal and you won't be able to close this i already tried it several times the lanyard got caught in the seal every single time. So my recommendation, don't use this on the inReach, but something very important, if you are in distress, be careful. When you open this up, you hit both of this, and you open this one up, this is gonna go open up. Be careful, because now you know the inReach is not attached to anything. So you'll be able to take it out, work with it, press the SOS, but once you're done with it and you already press the SOS, be very careful. If you drop it on the water, you're done. That's why they have a little lanyard, right? But that little lanyard becomes very dangerous because you won't be able to close it. So when you're ready to press the SOS, you know it goes face forward. Make sure there's no water inside the case. Put it in, close it. Now that you see it's closed, now you can work for rescue and nothing's gonna happen to the Enrich Mini if you're laying at sea, rough weather, you can be assured that your inReach is not gonna shut off because water's hitting it. So it's very important. I wanted to share this with you guys 
because a lot of my viewers have purchased the Enrich Mini and do not know about this becoming a problem because if you fall in the water for a long period of time, this will get ruined. So you're hopeless out there. If this is the only thing you got, you're not gonna get rescued. So the box for the Enrich Mini, I will place the link in the description below. If you have an Enrich Mini and you're hiking, you're okay. If it rains, you're fine. But if you're using it for a wet application like the ocean, the rivers, the lakes, if you fall in the water and you don't get out of the water, this is going to stop working for you. So just keep that in mind. If you're hiking, you got no problem. Water can fall on it. The water will dissipate. You will have no problems. Rain is fine. But when you're submerged in the water or long periods of times on the water, this will become a problem. This is not gonna work. So I wanted to share this important safety with you guys because every time I'm learning something new, I wanna share it with you guys and we're learning together for safety. Very important, great piece of equipment, but you must keep it as dry as possible out of the water. I found a good weather window of four days, possibly five. Hopefully, in a couple of days, I'll be heading out there and I'm taking you guys with me. Um, I don't know how far I'm gonna go, depends on weather. And please be safe out there. The sea is nothing to play with, especially if you're alone out there, you have no assistance have all the safety precautions. Do research all the time, like I always do. I try to improve my safety. Of course, I hate to have this huge box, clear box here on my vest. I really don't like it. It makes it look huge, but for an emergency, it's not the way it looks. It's the way it's gonna perform for you to save your life. That's the important part. Uh, even though this looks ridiculous, it needs to be with me, especially if I'm out there by myself. And if I go spear fishing by myself and I want a little bit more safety, I can take this with me. It's not going to get ruined. It's going to be protected with this case. Thanks for watching and always navigate safe.